Let's look at how we can create a bar chart using Microsoft, Microsoft Excel 2016 for Mac. Now let's suppose that we want to create a bar chart indicating how many people of what type of people use the building daily. So here we have a frequency table and we know that 14 faculty use the building daily. 21 administrative people, that, that ranges from like lab assistants to secretaries to student workers. Uh, um, and then there's nine support people that use the, uh, the building regularly. That might include uh, uh, maintenance workers and people that come in after hours. Now, to make a bar chart, a bar graph, or a bar chart in Excel, they're the same thing, you need to start off with a frequency table. Now, if you need to know how to make a frequency table, I've made other videos for that, but I'm assuming you already have a frequency table, such as we have here, that indicates the categories that we're going to use and the um, number of people that are in each category. So let's choose one cell in the uh, uh, table, and we're going to go to... Uh, insert and we're going to go into charts and we're going to go into bar charts or the column charts as they're called in in excel so i click on that and i want to choose the very first one which is the basic one that we're going to use and it's called clustered column even though we're not going to have clusters and i hit that and it guesses what it's supposed to be and sure enough it looks pretty good now we've got um, faculty, administrative, and support, and we've got the numbers there. Now there's a few things that we can do to make this look better. Let's, uh, uh, let's change this to employees who use the building daily. That's a lot more informative title, employees who use the building daily. We always want to have useful titles on our graphs because if we don't have a useful table, people are just going to skip over it because they can't tell what it is. As we look at the axes here, we've got numbers here and titles here, but we don't have any labels saying what the chart axes actually are. It's a good idea to always label your axes. The way that we're going to do that is under chart design, we're going to add chart element and we're going to add axis titles. So let's go for the primary horizontal. And down here, we can type, we can type category of employees. So we have three categories, faculty, administrative, and support. And then let's add a vertical title as well over here. And it is, we can put uh, uh, daily number or daily users. Maybe let's put number of users. We could put frequency. That, that works pretty well too. Now, if we wanted to now this is written vertically. Let's see if we can change a way. So I double clicked on that and we've got some title options here. And if I look at the placement, we've got the text direction. It says rotate all the text. Let's see if we change it back to horizontal. We've got number of users over here and the category of employees here. And this looks like a pretty good bar chart.